Hi, my name is Nancy D'Andrea. I am the chair of the Bernards Township Democratic Committee. I have lived in town since 1997. I grew up in a mostly Republican family. In 2015, when I saw the writing on the wall with what was happening with our current president, I was definitely thinking I did not want to push the button for our current president. But I wanted to push a button for specific Democrats. And so I said, you know what, I'm going to change my party affiliation to vote in the primary of 2016. And I wasn't alone. There were a lot of us that did that. Um, and so I became a Democrat in 20, in, in really end of 2015, and then voted in the primary in 2016. After uh, Trump won and Clinton lost, about a week after the election, I decided, let me book a a bus to the to Washington DC for the women's march and then I'd get closure. I marched, everything was great. About a couple of weeks later, uh, Kat Ma, who's also one of our first responders here in Bernard's Township, she said, hey Nancy, there's a reunion a gathering in Somerville, would you like to go? And I went, sure. So we go to Mannion's Pub in Somerville and there the Somerset County, uh, Federation of Democratic Women are holding this little, you know, get together. And then uh, Margaret Weinberger, who's the head of the uh, Federation of Democratic Women here in the county, uh, said, let's all introduce ourselves. And I said, I I my name is Nancy D'Andrea. This is Kat Ma. We're from Bernard's Township. And it was like the room got silent. And the room's like, Bernard's Township is here? You're kidding. Why is Bernard's Township here? It was like this. And I, 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 I was taken aback going, okay, something's wrong. Like, are there no Democrats in Bernard's Township, right? So we, the evening progresses, everything's fine. But then afterwards, a woman by the name of Karen Carroll comes up to us and she's part of the Federation. And she talks to us about Bernard's Township and how there hasn't been a really very active committee in a good long while. So about a couple of weeks later after that, uh, the Somerset County Democratic Committee put a call out to anybody that wants to learn about starting up the their committee in their town or to make it bigger or better, something like that. So I go to this meeting and that's with Peg Schaefer, who is the current Somerset County chair and also the vice chair of the state Democrats. So Peg and, uh, and company sat us down and gave us the lesson in... Uh, how to form a committee, you know, what to do. And so she hands me a list of the current members of the BTDC. We're supposed to have 48. We ended up having, I think, six. Okay. So that's how empty it was. We formed the committee. We reached out to people to sign them up. I think when we were all said and done, we had signed up about 28 people. Going now to 2020, we have 37 in the committee, uh, still looking for that last, you know, 11 people. With uh, our group, we have many that just became Democrats. They did not like the modern day Republicans, what they stood for. Um, and our current president really does not help the situation. Um, and even what we're going through now with this pandemic, not helping the situation. Uh, I think all the governors, Republican Dems combined, most of them have really stepped up and helped us during this difficult time. But, you know, I wish we had leadership from the very top that was better suited for the situation. The Bernard Township Democratic Committee is very welcoming to anybody that would like to join us or support us in any way possible. We, uh, first of all, at all our meetings, we feed you, okay? You got Catherine Santetti, you got Nancy D'Andrea, you got two Italians on the executive committee, and we're always like, wait, we should have some food. We should always, we should always have a little food. Honestly, we don't have the money the Republicans have. We don't. And I'm not asking for money. If you can't give money, and in today's time, I don't even expect it. But if you can help us out once we're over this you know, pandemic, and we can go back out, we can gather together, give each other a bunch of hugs, and have a little food and then we can get back to what we have to do and that's to elect um, not only democrats but 
Democrats that have the values that we all need. So again, come join us. We're a lot of fun.